everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to episode number 38 of The Slayer. We are looking for, honestly, there are still three different kinds of tasks I'm looking for. Slayer bosses, Mithril Dragons are not one of them, by the way. We're going to have to cancel this one. Slayer bosses, anything that I could cannon, and then anything really in the catacombs. Uh, maybe not black demons, because that would just take a long, long, long time in the catacombs. Even a bear inspectors. Those deviant inspectors were nice at the end of the last episode, but... I don't know, it's not that important to get in there for those that, the shard is nice, but it's just, it's a long task right now. I'm kind of looking to get some extra Slayer bosses in, so that's the biggest one I'm looking for. Anything that's going to take too long, I'm still kind of iffy on, probably going to be skipping. 217 Abbey Demons, wow, we've gotten a lot of Abbey Demons lately. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing these ones. I don't think I'm running to Sire because I don't have that Arc Light yet, and I wanted to go back with the Arc Light. I'm probably just going to meet up with you guys back in the catacombs. Guys, this is a clip from last episode that didn't make it in, and I don't know why. I got 93 strength almost right at the end of the last assignment. So this is one of the last things that happened in the last episode. There it is, guys. 93 strength. And we're about to get another melee level this time. We're getting 93 attack. I'm very excited about this. Uh, I think I might be getting a combat level. We'll see in a second. 93 attack. There it is. 117 combat 2. Nice. We are really getting up there. We're approaching that max melee status. We still, still got a lot of experience to go. So approaching is probably the right word to use. But we're just getting to that approaching point. There's an ancient shard here. I didn't even notice this thing. Can you imagine if I missed it? We wouldn't even know. Two ancient shards. We are one away from getting the arc light. Uh, it's only a thousand charges when we first build it. But at least I can build that arc light. I'm really looking forward to that. Whip. Whip. Oh, the whip. Is this? I think this is whip number eight, guys. Um, yes, I've lost track at this point. But this is the best drop. This beats that shard. This isn't that many kills after the shard, right? I, I, I don't remember. We've got the whip. Very, very happy. Oh, whoa, wait a second. What is that little sire spawn doing? That was weird. Did you guys see that? Alrighty then. This will be the final kill of this Abbey Demon task. It was kind of nice to do a full task of Abbey Demons again. Uh, I might come in here for another one later, depending on if I get it or not, obviously. But um, that is 491 tasks in a row. 15 more Slayer points. Big things are we got a whip and a sh an ancient shard. Holy cow, guys. It's not easy to say, I promise. Uh, so we're, we're going in price check. This is obviously a pretty good task, mainly because of the whip. That's definitely a big, big part of it. Uh, looks like we made uh, 146k. From the oh, wait, wait, wait. Got another Eddie bar. 149k from this one. That puts the overall task at just over 2.4 mil. 2,403k. Alright, Durazel, this is the second task of the episode. You already know what I want. I tell you what I want ever, all the time. Just hand it to me. 181 trolls. I'll definitely take trolls, the cannon task. Alright, guys, I'm gonna meet you I mean, at the trolls, I guess. Get me out of here. Come on, help up. Run with me, buddy. Run with me, buddy. I got a bunch of peaches. We're good. Uh, not phenomenal drops. We got the one rune item, which it's nice to get at least one every time. Come here, puppy. I'll let him get over there. Uh, we can go ahead and price check. I'm just eating up those peaches. I'm not just sitting here at real low health. Uh, like I said, wasn't phenomenal, but this one rune item is definitely very, very helpful. Look, and it adds up to 79k. Task number... This is task number 493 I'm looking for. We broke the 600k left to a slayer level. It's kind of nice, right? It's still going to be a while before we get to 95. Uh, I need another task. 166 cave krakens. I'll take the kraken for sure. We haven't... We haven't fought the Kraken in a while, and I only had to cancel three tasks to get to that point. <clears throat> when I got a trident, I didn't even notice. I'm not even paying attention. Once, once I'm down to like less than 10 kills in the assignment, I seem to just shut off in terms of drops. We just got a trident. Awesome. That is the highlight of the entire task. 1.3 mil. This is going to wrap up the Kraken task. We're kind of getting up there on Kraken kills, huh? Almost 1,400. Uh, double that, and I probably should be expecting to get that Kraken pet. So we're kind of getting there. Uh, some death runes in the final drop. Clearly the big one in this was the, the Trident with only seven kills to go. I think it was eighth, eighth to last kill. 
whatever. We got to try late in the game, late in this assignment. You can go ahead and price check now. Kraken's always one of our top money makers, or uh, at least at least for the tab. It cost me a little bit of cash, but whatever. I don't mind. As long as the tab keeps on growing, I will take it. A lot of different items here. Had a, a pretty big load this time. Adds up to, we'll say, 2,092K. And that puts us, at, this is a solid assignment, look at that. Uh, just over 5.3 mil, 5,332K. Uh, no, 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 sir, I don't want any Avancies. I kind of would like to do some Avancies, Fox and I were thinking about doing some duoing, some of the uh, Amaral boss, but I'm looking for some quick ones right now. I need like uh, Lizardmen, Lizardmen would be nice, because we're trying to get to those Shamans, and I'm like two tasks away from that. So, definitely take it. Lizardmen! Ha! Ah, 168 of them. Perfect! Nailed it. I should've asked for Hellhound. Dang. Oh, look what I got. It's about time. I don't know how to say this, guys. Xerix Talisman? Um, it's likely that I've gotten it before and I just missed it. I kinda AFK these things, but... I got my Talisman. That's good news. These, you can use this thing to teleport to Zaya. Should be wrapping up this task. Any kill now. Oh, it was that one. 494 tasks in a row. 15 more points. I'm trying to get some inventory spaces for my cannon. Go ahead and put, put some charges into the uh, the talisman. If you don't know, you got to use a lizard thing on the talisman to give you one teleport charge. It can hold it to a thousand, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. A thousand seems. I'm pretty sure that's what I read. So I don't think you guys would be correct. Me, but who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and price check. I got two run R seeds, which makes the entire load, but. It adds up pretty well. We got 128k. Time for task number 495. You gave me what I asked for last time, so Hellhounds would be really nice this time. I haven't had Hellhounds. 134 Bloodveld. We haven't had those Hellhounds in forever, it feels like. But Bloodveld, we can head back into the catacombs. I like these mutated Bloodvelds in the catacombs. Overall, I don't think I've had an assignment that I went in the catacombs and disliked yet. Uh, it's, it's possible we're just in the honeymoon phase still, and it's just new stuff, and I really like the new stuff, of course, but so far, so good on it. If I can get one more ancient shard from this task, we can build our arc light. Honestly, you need 30 total ancient shards to give the, the max 10,000 charges in the arc light. You don't need 10,000 for a whole sire task, but I'd like to have enough charges to last me an entire task before I go do it again. That may not be the case. Uh, if I get a third shard, I build my arc light and then get another task. Maybe I'll go over there for a few kills. Look what we got. Third ancient shard. Just had to eat a shard to go pick it up. Uh, that means I can build the arc light right after this task. So I'm going to be finishing up this one first. Got 21 kills left. Then we're going to build a new weapon. Very exciting. Final kill of this blood veil task right here. This was not bad for a blood veil task. 134 kills. Uh, we got like 22, a little over 22k XP. Which is normal for a blood veil task if I got like 180. So if I get a 180 plus blood veil task on these uh, mutated blood belts, a lot of XP. Uh, it's, they're, they're slower, but still it's a ton of XP. And we got mad blood runes, so check out this price check. This is a blood veil task, and we got 200k and an ancient shard. Best blood veil task ever. Alright everybody, the time has come to build the arc light. If I use the ancient shard on the dark light, it doesn't do anything. We need the power of this dark altar so I, th I think I just use these shards right on the altar right and yep it's gonna combine them to build an arc light awesome we have a thousand charges on it which as far as I've been told I could get like 30 or 40 kills with that I have no idea that's just from some uh, like three or four different people's information but I mean I'll take it we got our first thousand charges in the arc light we have the sword now pretty cool looking sword uh, new weapon again it's a honeymoon phase kind of thing I'm automatically gonna love it right when I get it and I'm pretty happy about it. Alright, Duradel, task number... I have no idea. 497? Could be 496. 496? Uh, it's Sukwas. Alright, this will be our first completed Sukwa task. I'm going to meet you guys on Lunar Island. I had cancelled these Sukwas early on in the series because I didn't want to buy any extra cannonballs. I was already doing a few different tasks with the cannon. But, um, uh, first of all, 496 tasks in a row, 15 points. Uh, what I was saying is, the reason I unblocked them is I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on cannonballs right now. Some of those quicker tasks, I'd like to do a little bit extra on them so I can make up for the slow XP when I'm bossing. Uh, we, I can price check, but I only got an emerald, guys. We made 2k from this task. I need a new task, Duradel. Uh, at this point, if I get a boss, 
Probably not gonna do it because I don't have much time. But I would like Hellhounds personally because I need that task. Yeah. Wyverns. Wow, it's been a while since we had Wyverns. Awesome. I like Wyverns. I'll meet you there. It's definitely been a long time since a Wyvern task as far as I can remember. They're always a solid cash though. The Brutal Black Dragons were a little bit better uh, last time I had them, but not that much better. In terms of time, they weren't better, but for the task, it was better money. So I guess they're even. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to tell. If you're just grinding out kills, it's definitely better to do Wyverns is my current, uh, my, my current philosophy, I guess. But I don't really know that for a fact. And I've only had one task that I've done Brutal Black. So, I don't have a lot of information on it. But, this isn't a Brutal Black Dragon task. It's a Wyvern. So, let's pay attention to this one. How much money did we make? I could break the one mil mark. Everybody cross your fingers that we got enough from this one to break one mil. Alright, Mr. Ear Leaf. Are you enough? 167k. It actually brings us to 973k on the task. Alright, Duradel, you basically decide if the episode ends here, or if I get one more task in. 29 Mithril Dragons. Well, that's not gonna do it. Gonna cancel these Myth Drags. I like Myth Drags, don't get me wrong. That's about an hour-long task for, like, 200k and not very much XP. And the chance at the Dragonfall Helm's nice, but I'm probably not gonna do Myth Drags again until I'm, like, 97, 98 Slayer. Somewhere in there. Alright, Duradel, take, take whatever. I don't know how many I've canceled in a row now. Give me something nice. Come on, buddy boy. 181 Lizardmen. I will meet you guys back on Zaya. I'm pretty happy with these Lizardmen tasks. Uh, the fact that I can just cannon through them real quick for good XP is nice. But I think we'll only have one more after this one before I can do the Shamans. Maybe two. I really haven't been paying attention. Uh, we could have it right now, but no. I know we don't. I paid attention to the first task, and I know the rates at which we get the uh, the favor, but I think I have one or one and a half more. Anyways, uh, this one is particularly nice because I got like, what does it say, 38 zoom in things to charge up my talisman. So I have a handful of teleports to Zaya now, which is awesome because I didn't have any. I was using the fairy ring for a little while once I bought it, but it's kind of up in the corner of the island. And this is a much better method of travel than what I was using. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, one more Ronar seed kind of helps, but this time we made about 78k. What do you got for me, Mr. Mr. Duradel? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm looking for Hellhounds. That's just all there is to it. That's the big task we want right now. Hellhounds! 151 Cave Kraken. Unfortunately, that is a boss that'll take me a little while, guys, so it's going to be wrapping up pretty soon. Here's your final clip of the episode, everybody. We go ahead and show the bank tab. It says 210 mil right now. Something clearly has either dropped or OS Buddy's like just a little off on price right now, which happens. Both are viable options. It said 217 mil, mil excuse me, not too long ago. So we could be from the 210 to the 220 mil range. Uh, clearly, it's, it goes up and down a lot right now because we have a lot in here and prices are consistently changing. But it's still, <clears throat> excuse me, it's still a really solid tab. If you're, I'm very happy with it. We got a Trident today and the Arc Light, probably the highlights of the episode. Uh, this is going to wrap it up, though, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know that I did, and I will see you next time. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and tell us what you enjoyed about it. If you're looking for some more RuneScape videos like this one, then be sure to join the cul-de-sac by subscribing for more. We will see you next time.